Welcome to KVHU Weekly Updates for the week of April 3rd. I'm Jackie Robles. And I'm Joshua Bruce. Geeks Week returns this week on Thursday, April 6th at 4 o'clock. Dr. Martin Fashbaugh talks about European romantic poetry and the historical forces that helped shape the movement, the poetry's common themes and aesthetic characteristics, as well as its legacy particularly how traces of romantic era ideas can be uncovered in 20th century and 21st century pop culture. This is free and open to the public in Jonas Room 110. If you're a fan of dice games, then you can look forward to the Tensi Dice Tourney on Tuesday, April 4th at 5.30, hosted by BHSU Jacket Zone. If you are interested to register, just contact them at 605-717-5801. There will be several different versions of this fast-paced game that all ages can enjoy. This is a free event, however, donations to the Spearfish Food Pantry are welcome. There will be prizes and refreshments. Black Hill State University strives to be a leader in environmental sustainability in our region, state, and nation. To expand that role, we are creating a comprehensive sustainability master plan to guide BHSU's sustainability efforts over the next 10 to 20 years. Verdon's group, a Nebraska firm, was hired to facilitate this process. To be involved, simply visit the Sustainability Master Planners in Club Buzz from 10 to 11 a.m. on Wednesday, April 5th to learn about the plan, make suggestions, and ask questions. Last week was the Black Hills' first annual startup weekend. This weekend gave participants a chance to get together, form teams, pitch ideas, and present a final creation. KBHU TV's Joshua Bruce had the opportunity to attend the event. Check it out. The first annual Black Hills startup took place just last weekend. For those Black Hills locals with ideas for startups, this is a great way to work with a team to build those ideas up and eventually pitch to judges the final day. Jennifer Youngworth talks about how the weekend is going. It's going fantastic. We have about 30 participants that have spent the weekend building a business concept into an actual business play. We have a lot of energy, we have a lot of collaboration, we're just having a good time and we're learning. The contestants work from early in the morning to late at night to get these ideas solid for the final presentation. You go on, you say, send me your email. This is Joshua Bruce with KBHU TV, Black Hills Startup Weekend. Attendance nearly doubled for the second annual American Legion Ball on March 18th in Spearfish that celebrated the 98th birthday of the Veterans Organization and brought together generations of those who've served in the military. Michelin Nelson, president of the American Legion Post 164 Auxiliary said, the event was more of a dining in feel, which references the tradition of formal military ceremonies used in every branch of service. Nelson goes on to say, seeing 70 years of veterans from the Korean War, Vietnam War, and all the wars up to the very young ones was pretty amazing. As part of American Indian Awareness Week on Friday, April 7th, from 7 until 11 p.m., there will be a powwow at the Field House in the Young Center. The grand entry will start at 7 p.m. KBHU Weekly Updates is a student-produced program. If you have any suggestions for program segments, email us at kbhutv at gmail.com. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. That's all we have for this week. Thank you for watching KBHU Weekly Updates. I'm Jackie Robles. And I'm Joshua Bruce.